They say that sound makes up 50% of any video or film. So let's listen to the sound from the Rode NTG5 shotgun microphone. So this is the Rode NTG5 shotgun microphone. I've got it mounted on the pistol grip right now. As you can see, it looks a little bit different to previous Rode microphones, but how does it sound? Well, I'm gonna switch over to this microphone now and use it for the rest of the video so you can hear for yourself. The Rode NTG5 comes as part of a kit and I posted an unboxing of the whole thing, which you can check out up here. Inside the kit is the Rode NTG microphone itself, the PG2R pistol grip, a foam windshield, a WS10 dead cat style windshield, a microphone clip, the PG2R Pro cable, and a pouch to keep it all in. The Rode NTG5 is designed primarily as a location microphone, which is why it comes with the pistol grip and the dead cat. There's no need to scurry around afterwards trying to find compatible gear to add to the microphone. It just comes with it in the package. It's also extremely lightweight, weighing only 72 grams. It's a fair bit lighter than my other go-to location microphone, the Sennheiser K6 ME66, and it's significantly lighter than the Deity S Mic 2. This low weight is thanks to the aluminium construction rather than the brass used in many other shotgun microphones. This lightweight means that it's a breeze to use on the end of a long boom pole all day on location. It also means you can mount it on top of your camera if it has XLR inputs or you're using some kind of preamp that can supply phantom power without adding any significant weight. Probably the biggest difference between the NTG5 and many of Rode's other shotgun microphones is the frequency response. Rode says that the NTG5 is designed to have a very flat frequency response for the most natural sound possible. This will be good news to anybody who's experienced the somewhat bassy sound in many of Rode's other shotgun microphones. And the audio in this video has been left completely unprocessed except to adjust the levels so that you can hear that frequency response for yourself. Rode says that this comes in part thanks to the new circular ports on the interference tube instead of the slots we see on most other microphones. And it certainly does sound rather good to my ears. To further increase the sound quality, the Rode NTG5 is what's called an RF bias microphone. Now, I'm not gonna get into the technical aspects of what that means because I don't fully understand it myself. I'm not a microphone engineer. But the benefit of RF bias is that it's less prone to surrounding interference, and it's also resistant to moisture and other contamination in the air. All of these are important factors when you're recording in potentially unpredictable environments. Here, where I'm filming right now, for example, there are several computers, a couple of laptops, Raspberry Pis, all kinds of things with Wi-Fi and Bluetooth sending their signals flying and I've yet to have any interference or issues at all with the NTG5 filming in this environment. But outdoors on location is where this microphone really shines. During a recent shoot with some friends, I took the NTG5 out with us so I could hear how it sounds in a somewhat remote location and how well it isolates the subject from the environmental noise. So this is the outdoor test for the Rode NTG5 short shotgun microphone. I've got it boomed overhead as you can see. I'm just going to read the first sort of couple of sentences of the NTG5 information on the website. And then I have Alina and Marta come in and do it too, because I want to see how this microphone reacts to a female voice. The NTG5 is a short, ultra lightweight shotgun microphone, ideal for use in the most demanding recording applications. Featuring a revolutionary acoustic design with circular ports replacing the linear slots found in other shotgun microphones, it offers unmatched transparency and a more natural, uncoloured sound. Combined with a tightly controlled frequency response, smooth off-axis response and very low self-noise, the NTG5 sounds spectacular in a wide variety of applications, particularly location recording and demanding filmmaking scenarios where superlative audio is the imperative. No excuses. So I've just brought Marta in now because I want to see how this microphone picks up a female voice because I found that with some microphones they work better with male or female voices and I just want to hear how Marta's voice sounds with the Rode NTG5 and an owl apparently. <laughs> um, so Marta, if you just read the first paragraph. Yeah, sure. The NTG5 is a short, ultra lightweight shotgun microphone ideal for use in the most demanding recording applications featuring a revolutionary acoustic design with circular ports replacing the linear slots found in other shotgun mics. It offers unmatched transparency and a more natural and colored sound. Combined with a tightly controlled frequency response, smooth off axis response and very low, low self noise, the NTG5 sounds spectacular in a wide variety of applications, particularly location recording and demanding filmmaking scenarios where superlative audio is the imperative. No excuses. 
There wasn't a lot of noise out there in the wild, to be honest, although we could hear quite a few cars echoing through the valley and the occasional owl, and as you heard, the NTG5 did a great job of ignoring them. You can see in the clips that I was also using the WS10 dead cat for the recording. It wasn't terribly windy that day, but it was a little bit breezy, and 99% of the time when I'm outdoors on location, I'm using a dead cat just in case there's an unexpected breeze. When you can't live monitor the audio during the entire recording, there's nothing worse than getting home to find out you have to completely scrap or reshoot something, just because there was some wind that you didn't hear on the location. And it has a negligible impact really on the sound. It's nothing that can't be fixed in post. One thing I didn't get to test out well that day was directionality, how well the NTG5 responds or ignores off-axis sound. But I did head out this morning into the freezing cold Scottish weather to do that test as well. So I've come outside, it's freezing cold, I've got my gloves on. Here I have the Rode NTG5 on its pistol grip on the Rode boom pole and I'm gonna spin it around so you can hear how the sound picks up at different angles to the microphone. So here is the microphone right in front of me and I'm gonna go spin it around now. So now I'm 90 degrees to one side of the microphone. I keep spinning. Now I'm directly behind the microphone. Now I'm 90 degrees the other way. And now it's coming back towards me and you can hear how it sounds. As you can hear, it does a pretty good job. When I was outside this morning, I intentionally positioned myself so there was nothing in front of me that my voice could bounce off and come back to the microphone. It was no more than 15 inches from my mouth throughout the whole test. But when I turned it off to the side and away from me completely, it did a pretty good job of knocking down the volume of my voice. So all of the recordings that you're hearing here in this room have gone through my Alesis mixer into my computer and been recorded in Adobe Audition. All of the stuff on location has been recorded on my Tascam DR100 field recorder, which I've had for years, and mine's the Mark 1, so it doesn't have the best preamps. The Rode NTG5 only has 10 dBA of self-noise, but it runs a little bit hotter than my other shotgun microphones. This means I can set my recorder to a lower input level, get a better signal to noise ratio, and reduce any microphone hiss. You can hear it right now, I've done no noise reduction to this recording whatsoever, and you can barely pick up any hiss at all. The NTG5 is primarily marketed to professionals, and the audio and build quality definitely seem to back that up, especially with the low weight that will make boom operators rejoice. But at $499 for the entire kit, it's attainable by hobbyists and advanced amateurs and YouTubers and anybody else not doing really high productions but still wants to step up their audio game. Given the versatility it offers in different locations, the natural quality of the sound and the included accessories, it's probably the best balance of cost versus performance on the market right now unless you start looking in the used market. The NTG5 has been a very impressive microphone for me so far and it's far exceeded any expectations I had for a shotgun microphone at this price point. I'd probably even recommend it for a lot of situations over the mighty NTG3. I'll be using the NTG5 as my main location shotgun microphone going forward, although I will be shooting it side by side with my Sennheiser K6 for a while. I'm going to try it out in a bunch of different scenarios and just see how the two compare at picking up different types of sound on location. So I may post an update video at some point in the future comparing the two to see how they handle different scenarios. But for now, I think we're done. The Rode NTG5 is available for $499 and it comes with the pistol grip, the dead cat and all the other bits you saw in this video. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you want to stay up to date on new videos as we release them. There's an article on DIYphotography.net to go along with this video, so if you haven't checked that out already, please do. There'll be a link down below. And if you have any questions about the NTG5 or want me to test anything, also let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.